I've seen many people in the gym, and I mean a lot of people who don't know what their muscles are called. You know, they can only tell you that they are working their arms, they are working their chest, they are working their legs, etc. But they can't tell you the name of the chest muscles. You know, I, I, I find it so, I don't know. But in this video, I will briefly educate you about your major muscles and what they are called. And um, in subsequent videos, I will pick up these muscles, this muscle group, one after the other and elaborate on them, including how to maximally work to build them. All right, so let's get to it. I will start with the deltoids. The deltoid, also known as the delt, are part of your shoulders. Okay, um, it is the ball and socket joint that connect your arm to the trunk of um, your body, and it is divided into three: the front delt, which you work on by doing the front brace, then the lateral head, and the rear head, the rear delt, which you work on by doing the lateral raise and the bent down lateral raise, uh, respectively. The deltoid muscle basically helps you to move your arm in different directions they also protect and stabilize your shoulder muscles okay and one major workout that you can do to target the three heads of deltoid is the overhead military press it's so the traps actually is a large muscle in your back. It starts from the back of your head and your neck extends across your shoulders down the middle of your back, forming the trapezoid shape, hence the trapezius. It is divided into the upper, the middle, the lower traps. It is actually the upper trap muscles that come up on our neck. Most times that's why we feel we are working on the shoulder muscles, but actually traps is the back muscle. Uh, so the trapezius muscle actually acts as both a posture stabilizer and a movement muscle um, so you've been able to stand chest out heads up high shoulder open um you know a little thanks to the trapezius you can work your trapezius by doing the shrugs the latissimus dorsi, which we know as the lats. The lats is actually the widest muscle in the human body. It covers the whole back except the traps, right? So that cobra shape, that muscles that give you the whole cobra pen is the lats, all right? But for you to have the 100% cobra back, you need to develop both your traps and your lats, all right? Um, the tricep is a large three-headed muscle found at the back of your upper arm all right so the main function of the tricep is the extension of the forearm at the elbow joint all right your elbow being able to extend backward is actually aided by the tricep so that's why the major tricep workout is kickback skull crusher tricep extension you'll notice that you are kicking your hand backwards using your elbow all right so the bicep is the muscle in front of your upper arm when we were small and this it shows your power that power that we show is called bicep the main function of the bicep is the flexion of your forearm all right we all know how to work on our bicep um, the barbell coils is almost everybody's favorite workout for the bicep Brachialis is popularly known as brachii. If you notice, you would see a muscle that starts in between your bicep and your tricep, and the muscle goes down to your forearm. That is your brachii. It is known as the workhorse of the elbow. It is it is a major flexor of the forearm and the elbow joint. So you'll be able to flex your hand, you know, a lot of thanks to the brachii. To work your brachii, you do a lot of hammers, deadlifts, you know. Uh, what is the meaning of core? If you Google it, you'd see that it is the tough central part of various fruits containing seeds. Um, the next one said the part of something that is central to its existence or character. You know, so the core muscle is the muscle at your center. You know, the central part of you. The core muscle is not just you know your six part. It extends to cover your core that house your seeds, your organs, and all. So having a very strong core muscle is very 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 important the core muscle is divided into the rectus abdominis which is your six pack as it's popularly known and then the abdominal oblique which is the side muscle so having a strong core in general will stabilize you as a whole 
it is the center of you your upper body and your lower body cannot be stable without your core and working on your core doesn't necessarily mean you have to be doing sit-ups leg raises all those other core exercises for the six packs you don't need to be doing all that if you just want a strong core you know you can do all that if you actually want the six packs but the only exercise you need basically to build a strong core is the front plank and the side plank just that now the gluteal muscle which is your buttocks it's 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 a very important muscle i i see lots of guys at the gym shying away from working on their glutes they are not girls they don't want asses and all that but it is a very important muscle not just for the ladies but for everybody um it stabilizes the upper body and the pelvis you know, it aids in locomotion and um, hip movement so you moving you know if you're like if you're winding your waist and all you can't do all of that without a strong glutes so um it's very important to work on the glutes you know luckily for guys the deadlift the squats touch the glutes in a major way you know but to take it to the next level you want to try some hip thrusts a very good workout for the glutes all right quadricep femoris popularly known as quad it is the muscle in, in front of your your thighs it has three heads they are the strongest muscles in the body they absorb force when your heel hits the ground they flex the hip they help maintain correct posture and balance they move and stabilize the patella that is your kneecap you know and they regulate the way you walk very 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 important muscles i tell you you build them with the squats exercises uh, lunges and most importantly the leg extensions as we said, the quads are in front of your thigh, yeah? The hamstrings now are behind your thigh. But basically, you use these muscles to walk, to climb the stairs, to squat and perform many other leg movements. Which means without the hamstring, it's going to be hard for you to walk. It's going to be hard for you to lift your leg to climb the stairs. It's going to be hard. So you can do the hamstring workout using the hamstring curls machine, white squat and deadlift too. Most people neglect the calf muscles, you know, as they do neglect their forearm muscles. You know, it's very not appropriate to see someone with a big arm and then a very little forearm. It's not aesthetic at all. So why should it be okay for people to have big arms, big legs, big quads and hamstrings and then a little calf? It's not, it's not aesthetic at all. The calf is a very, very important muscle. So it supports you when you stand and it enables you to move your foot and your lower leg. You know, it propels you forward when you walk and run. It also allows you to jump, to rotate your ankles, you know, flex your foot, lock your knee, you know, very important muscles. So guys, subsequently, I will hit on these muscles one by one and talk extensively on the functions of each muscles and how to work each muscle effectively so i thank you for staying this long just click on the subscribe button turn on post notifications so that when we drop these videos you are going to be notified all right stay blessed